Hey, what's up? I'm Fabio Bimmel and I'm a professional mountain bike rider. I felt my own like inner excitement about more than just one discipline. I just wanted to mix like different disciplines together and see how this is how this is going. Because I, I love riding downhill on super fast uh, on super steep tracks, but then also the very technical part like riding in, in the city. And then, for example, I mixed those things together and made them like my own way of how to uh, how to see biking in my own life. And I would say like a lot of people like got inspired by that. I feel like it's very important to have that team around you where you've got like a lot of trust into them and where you know like they are thinking in the same way as, as you are doing and especially you know for myself it's super important to have those guys ar around me because they know like whenever something takes 500 tries you know you need to have people that know that you can do it and now people who say well we should maybe try something else so um yeah, the, the team is definitely very, very important for that. It's also super fun. I mean, I really enjoy, you know, being on the road with them, traveling, making, making videos. And that's super cool if you've got a team like thinking in the same way. And that uh, is definitely, yeah, that's definitely amazing. When you are scared of something, something or when you work on something like really hard, and then you finally get it after like spending so much time in something or like putting so much effort into something that reward you get out of that is the best feeling for me ever and that what really like motivates me and drives me to see where my limits are and being the, the best i can if you're trying to do something you know not giving up is the most important thing and that's the thing i hate the most probably like giving up on something I would say the key is definitely just to try it over and over again and then um, just to, like learn from your mistakes. From every try, I try to see what I did wrong or why it didn't work. And I think that's a really interesting and very um, useful step to get there where you want to be and uh, for me to get that trick. Because, because if I'm just like trying it over and over again, it might work too. But if you don't learn from the mistakes, it might not work ever or um, yeah, super late. I'm totally honest. I, sometimes I don't really enjoy that process when you're in there because you don't even get like close to it sometimes. That's like, that's like super frustrating. But um, then like I always try to remember um, of the feeling which I will get once I've done it and once I've uh, completed that um, challenge of myself. So um, that feeling I get whenever I'm trying something, I don't know, 500 times, is probably the thing that really like keeps me going and really keeps me motivated all the time. Then take it here. Let's go. Alter. Yes! Boom! I mean, I was always a person who really kind of like stood out, especially when I was a kid too. I always wanted to, you know, do something different, try out new things and just like be very um, into a lot of different things where, where I was, uh, yeah, like thinking in my own way. And uh, back in the days when I, when I was younger, I did a lot of parkour and stuff like that too. Um, where I got inspired by other athletes and um, there was already a moment where, where, where I was thinking like how could I maybe like bring that parkour style into biking a little bit and combine it and just like making, making it in my own way. Yeah, thinking different was probably the most important thing uh, for my career and just like trying out things and just doing it and not like, you know, thinking too long for something and waiting for the kind of like perfect moment. I was always like trying to just like do it and try it. And it's all about that try and error kind of thing uh, as everything in life, pretty much. I would say I'm kind of lucky because it's like a little bit natural for me. I'm like thinking differently because, yeah, as I said, I'm a person who really likes to do things like in a different way. 
But I mean, I would say like everyone can do it. Sometimes it's all about, you know, just like sitting down and like really thinking about the thing which you, which you want to, I don't know, change or which you want to do. And I mean, this could take, I don't know, a day or like this could even take like, I don't know, two or three months, like in general to get like to get creative or to get your idea or even years. If you're really like passionate about something, the moment will come where you realize, well, this could be an idea, which like maybe no one has ever uh, thought of before. That's insane. That, that worked perfectly. Dope awesome. shit. I'm, uh, I'm stoked on this one. That's actually like exactly how I thought it, it could be. Sometimes like the ideas, the best ideas comes from limitations. When you feel like you can do whatever you want in the whole world, it's, it kind of like gets quite hard. But when you set like yourself kind of like some limitations, either, either it's like a place where you are, um, you're limited to that place or either, I mean, it's, uh, it's a sport itself or, or something else. It's, um, it, gets, uh, it gets kind of like better to get creative. That's what I feel like. When it comes to me, I personally like to take those moments and to take those situations and you know show others that you can actually do something and then have an impact. That's what I really uh, like to take those situations and put them in my perspective. I love to take things which everyone kind of like knows and make it as my playground. I think of my last video where I was like you know using my home. Um, as pretty much like my playground for biking. Um, like it was, it was like I saw a lot of like bike videos at home, but they were like, you know, they were like one trick or two tricks. But then I was like, well, this could be actually an amazing opportunity to think about like more and to try to be as creative as possible and just use those, those things which you have at home to make it as your playground or to make, make it as my playground. I would say that like sometimes if you're, if you're limited to some certain things, you get even more creative and uh, you get even even better in what you're doing. Especially this video, like with this video, I try to show people how to, you know, get creative even when you're like locked at home. And uh, those situations are sometimes the ones I'm really like focused on and which I see more as an opportunity rather than, uh, you know, a limitation. I would say like sometimes the best ideas are, you know, something which you are always seeing or connected with. Uh, it can be hard to find those ideas, but like if you try to get a lot of inspiration from like a lot of different things, you will find your way and you will find your ideas. What is your audience? What do they think? What do they do all day long? Just like also like thinking about the people which you want to reach to get an idea of what that specific person you want to reach like is doing and what this uh, how you can start in a very small target group and then you know trying to expand it um, but like I feel like when you're starting it's like very important to focus on that target group and uh, really see what those people in that specific target group what they're watching what they're doing all day long and from what they get inspired and then you kind of like get a certain feeling of how you can inspire them. People who are not, not interested in biking at all, they still, you know, watch my videos. Because I take those things which everyone knows, for example, like, I don't know, stairs. Like everyone knows how it is to like ride down like a curb or on a pavement. Like everyone kind of like knows that because everyone's like riding bikes in a city. And like when, when I'm thinking of that, I was like, um, well, let's make a video in the streets where I'm just, just like jumping downstairs and doing stuff in the city where everyone is like spending a lot of time basically and where everyone knows how this, how this could feel. And that's a really good, I think, approach on how to, you know, bring the thing which you are doing to, to more people. And uh, especially, uh, yeah, when I did my video in France, where I was jumping down those stairs, like people were really like able to relate it because everyone knows how stairs is. And they were like, yeah, this must be like super crazy to jump down so many stairs or to ride them down. 
if you're working on something where you want to reach a lot of people, I mean, you, you can't reach them with something which is so far away that nobody can relate to. I think like everyone should like try to find out their passion and what, what is like fun to them and if they enjoy something and if they're passionate about something like bringing the li ideas to life is like the coolest part ever and like you know sometimes it's really all about starting somewhere it's not about you know waiting for the perfect moment because that probably will never come you know working working a lot um, on, on the things you're passionate about and being able to get inspired by a lot of things it's definitely something why yeah why why the students should start and, and just bring their ideas to life because like they will see that once they can bring their ideas to life that's the coolest thing ever i always like kind of like tell them or want to want to show them that it's like all about the passion and if you're passionate about something success will like sooner or later come yeah, just have fun and believe in your passion. Red Bull Basement is an amazing opportunity to get inspired and to bring the ideas to life.